what's up you guys it's your favorite girl Amani Jelena and I'm back with another video for you guys now this video was so requested that I was like let me just like get this video out for you guys so as you guys can see from the title this video is going to be all about payment processors I get tons of questions about PayPal disputes about stripe disputes it's one called Braintree like it's a lot of payment processors out there but you basically need to pick the right one for you and a lot of website builders don't necessarily have all of these options they may only have like two or three options available so we are going to talk about the most popular payment processors on the market right now we are like i said we're only going to talk about the popular ones so the only ones that we are mainly going to talk about is stripe and paypal for one those are the two that i'm most familiar with but there are other payment processors or whatever you want to call it out there that you can continue to do research on but we're mainly just going to talk about these two so we're going to break it down and i'm going to talk about stripe first and then we're going to move over to paypal so if you guys are, don't know i do have a wix account and on wix you are eligible to either use stripe or paypal or you can use both uh with me i personally like to use both but my favorite out of the two would have to be paypal even though paypal is kind of like pissing me off right now but let's let's just get into the video okay so the first one we're going to talk about is stripe i've been using stripe for a very long time now of course since allure 96 has been up and running which has been over a year now i've definitely been using stripe um now my thing with stripe is i like stripe stripe is a pretty cool software i guess the only issues i definitely have with stripe is that you do not get your money immediately um with stripe i notice they usually wait around two to three business days before they put the money into your account which is sometimes not beneficial to the owners of course my issue with stripe other than that I genuinely like Stripe. When you uh, make your Stripe account and you log into your account, they definitely break everything down. Stripe does not take a huge percentage away from you, which is pretty good. Um, but like I said, when you log into your Stripe and you see all of your analytics and all that good stuff, you are able to break it down to see what money is coming from where, what time frame did you get this money, how long did it take for you to get this money. You can see so much from your basically Stripe dashboard. Um, and that's something that I genuinely like because I like to see where my money's coming from. And then also with Stripe, you can link a few cards up to Stripe as well. It doesn't necessarily have to be one card linked up to Stripe now we're going to switch over to kind of more so the negative end of stripe which it's not too much negative at least i don't have a super negative issue with stripe the only thing with stripe is i don't like their whole dispute way of doing things if you guys are not if you guys do not know when a dispute is open on stripe the owner has only a 20 percent chance of winning those disputes so stripe definitely follows their policy when it comes to customers because in their opinion customers are always right which is not always the truth because there's so many scammers out there and yeah when when disputes are open they definitely do give you the floor to kind of sending in your evidence and sending in information to kind of help you win those disputes and things like that um so i guess that is a perk that they allow you to redeem your money back i personally don't like how they go about doing it for one when a dispute is open their time frame for figuring out does your customer get the money or do you get the money is it a scam their time frame is months like i believe once i've waited maybe three or four months to even hear anything back from them um and there's no one you can call on stripe uh, I personally am a personable person and if something's not going right especially with my money I like to be able to call the bank or be able to call the provider and get someone's really on the phone explaining to me what's going on and Stripe isn't like that so if in my opinion if you need like if you're in the beginning stages of opening your business or you're switching over and you want to work with a bank that kind of caters towards you or um you know kind of holds your hand through the process and things like that stripe isn't the one just because there's no communication with stripe if it's not on um like emails and things like that i'm sure you you can com communicate with stripe but it's a more tedious process to actually getting a hold of someone and getting the response that you need which is not beneficial for me for my customers for my brand any of that 
granted I still use stripe I still you know I I, I work with it uh, I don't love stripe because I've definitely had my ups and downs when it does come with stripe but overall stripe you know it does its job with getting money from your website to your bank account another thing that I'm not a fan of with stripe and disputes is that for one when money is being processed through your stripe account it gets processed and automatically gets put into your bank account granted it does take about two to three days or maybe even sometimes more depending if there's holidays or things like that for that money to get into your account but money doesn't sit in your stripe account so if a dispute is open and let's say this transaction that the, the dispute was opened on was from three months ago and let's say that dispute was for $500 that was open, Stripe automatically takes that money out of your personal account. So let's say if you bank with Bank of America and your Stripe account is hooked up to your Bank of America, Bank of America account, they're going to instantly rip $500 from your pers from your like personal bank account opposed to PayPal and I'll get into PayPal soon. But that is something that I genuinely don't like um, because they just take that money right out of your account. And a lot of the time Stripe emails get sent to my spam folder or to my like all mail folder and they don't necessarily notify me if something like crazy is going on. Those are my biggest discrepancies when it does come to Stripe. Um, like I said, Stripe has its good, its high and low moments, but overall it does its job with getting the money from your website to your personal account. Uh, it's just the time frame, the dispute process, and not being able to contact someone from the facility when I have questions or when something crazy is going on. That's my only issue with Stripe. So moving over to PayPal, if I had to choose between PayPal and Stripe before I get into the PayPal specs, I would choose PayPal. For one, like I said, I'm a personable person and if I have questions, if I have concerns, I like to physically get someone on the phone and talk to them. And with PayPal, you can do so. PayPal, um, of course, they have a customer service number. Granted, if you do call their customer service numbers, you'll probably be on hold for a long time because, you know, I guess a lot of people have a lot of issues with, you know, their money. But that is the cool thing with PayPal. Other than that, I like that when people make purchases, it goes directly to my PayPal account. There is no wait time with PayPal, which is beneficial. Um... Another thing is I of course just like with Stripe I like the whole dashboard action that PayPal gives. I like PayPal's a little bit more because you could break things down you know a little bit easier and you can really see how money's getting you know in certain places and then of course I like how you can have multiple cards linked up to PayPal as well. Um, now PayPal definitely changed it but not too long ago PayPal had it where you had to wait one business day to get your funds immediately but they definitely switched it over so as soon as money's dropped into your PayPal account you can easily just in, they call it instant transfers you can just transfer it over to your uh, bank to your debit card or credit card or whatever uh, immediately I believe it's like a 30 minute wait but with me I never have to wait it's always like 10 seconds later and it's in my account um, which is beneficial. Uh, another thing that I do like about PayPal is that you can do so much from PayPal. I print out my labels from PayPal. I send invoices through PayPal. I, you know, do reoccurring payments through PayPal. I have a subscription through PayPal. Like there's so much you can do with PayPal. I do like that PayPal reports your taxes to the IRS. Uh, PayPal, once you reach certain thresholds in PayPal, as far as like money and transaction and things like that, PayPal then sends that information to the government. So you don't really have to do that hard work when it does come to like getting everything for tax purposes and things like that because they'll send you all of that information. So that's something that I genuinely do like with PayPal. Pretty sure Stripe does not report to the IRS or anything. So if your business is not registered and you make a lot of money through PayPal, um, you'll probably get in trouble because you'll end up owing a lot of money when it comes to taxes but that's a separate video for a separate topic um but back to my pros when it could, does come to paypal another pro would be like i said when you have a business account on paypal there's so many options there's so so much more you can do which is beneficial now we're going to gear a little bit because this video is getting kind of long we're going to gear towards the cons or the the things that i personally don't like about um paypal so something that i do not like about paypal is i don't like how their customer service is not consistent um when things are going on with paypal you can talk to one person but then when you call back you're talking to a whole different person that probably really knows nothing 
about your case or what you're going through besides what's in the notes section of um you know the reason you called uh so that's my only thing i wish they were a little more consistent but they do their job they answer my questions um and yeah something else that i am not i don't really care for when it comes to paypal is um certain disputes that are open uh certain disputes that are open they're super cool with and like for instance if a dispute gets open sometimes they give you the option to take the hold off of your account um and basically release those funds because if a dispute is open paypal will then of course rip those funds out of your account so let's say you have a zero balance in your uh paypal account but a dispute gets open for three hundred dollars paypal is automatically going to take that three hundred dollars from you and just leave your account negative now the cool thing is they don't mess with your personal accounts or your linked cards that are like linked to your account that is you know better than stripe rather but uh you definitely do get left with a negative balance but depending on what type of dispute was open you can call them and ask them like hey can you take this hold off of my account i use this account very frequently this is my business account and i need to use my account um they'll usually uh take that hold off but certain disputes that do get open they'll then um like require evidence and like it gets crazy and then you'll have to submit uh, evidence into them and then their back office will review it and then they'll make the final decision on who gets what, how they get what, things like that. Now, something that I genuinely, genuinely cannot stand about PayPal is that when, like, and this is more so geared towards disputes, if a dispute is open and it reaches the back office, which is a claim at that point, PayPal has the final say so to anything. So let's say you send a customer an order, they open a dispute on you, but they have their order. PayPal will then, you know, ask them to send the merchandise back and then give the funds to them. Like PayPal can kind of drag you along when it comes to disputes, certain disputes, but overall paypal is a good system i genuinely do love using paypal and i'm i will definitely say once you start to bring in like decent money through paypal you can kind of work with them and they work with you you know they work with they work with you because you're bringing in a lot of money and when you are bringing in nice lump sums of money paypal definitely takes a cut of that as well um so it's so like I said, like when certain disputes gets opened and things like that, and if you have 500 transactions or 600 or 1000 transactions in your account and things like that, they definitely work with you as far as not putting holds on your account and then kind of siding with you when it does come to um, disputes and things like that if you are a business owner. So I hope you guys love this very informative, what is it, like Stripe versus PayPal payment processor type of thing if you did go ahead and thumbs up this video go ahead and subscribe if you are not and then go ahead and check the description box because i have tons of goodies down there um but yeah i love each and every one of you and i will see you guys in my next video